Hi, this is Paula from Tri-State Sewing Back, and I'm working with the Foff Expression 4.0, the quilters, it's called the Quilt Expression 4.0, and I picked out number 57, it's a blanket stitch, but it's, it's a heavier stitch, and I'm using the Sulky Cotton 30 weight, and I just put in a top stitch needle, it's a size 12 top stitch needle, because it's a little bit heavier thread and it's going to slide through here easier. And I have uh, a heavy tear away in the back. I've fused it together with Wonder Under. And I'm just going around a star here. I actually ordered in a, a bolt of this. It's a Nancy Haverson. And also this piece right here. I've got both these on hand right now in case somebody would like to order some from me. Um, I'm, I'm doing uh, a baby quilt that I found. And this is a stitch that goes back and forth, and it makes it heavier. And so when we get to the curve, we have to be careful here. And as we pivot and turn, we're going to do a pattern restart, and then that way it won't go back, like to leave a tail. We don't want a tail. See how I'm doing that? Oh, and I also have the open toe foot on, a 9mm open toe foot with the dual feet engaged. This combination makes for professional applicates. Okay, as I turn, I push the pattern restart again because you don't want to go back, otherwise it'll leave a tail. You want to remember the pattern restart again. Pattern restart again. And I'm just about done. I think this is turning out nicely. It's kind of exciting. It's kind of an experiment. Okay, pattern restart. happen to have most of this fabric on hand except for when I ordered these two pieces in here just recently and I was excited that the colors went together. Pattern restart. Just about done here. Pattern restart. Then push the cutter when you're done there and it will cut it off for you nicely. Thank you for watching. Hope to see you soon. This is Paula at Tri-State Sewing Back. Bye.